Hello everyone, this is Ed or Ed Dini, uh, a magician and certified hypnotist for three years. We're going to do a somewhat different type of hypnosis session, and that is to clear your mind into a state of nothingness. This is good especially if you're stressful and you just want to clear your mind, this is essentially for what this is. As always, make sure all noise makers are shut off, like TV, um, people talking. Actually make sure you're, in a, you're alone in a quiet room with possibly the lights dimmed. You're in a chair, preferably with arms, because you relax that deeply. And your phone's off, and you know, there could be a do not disturb sign on the door. Um, it's very important you won't be disturbed. And uh, during this whole thing, you'll always hear the sound of my voice. You're going to feel good, and you're going to feel ten times better after doing this with a clear head. So new information can come into your mind, and you'll feel so rested, but yet invigorated like you just woke up after eight hours of sleep. We're going to start by having you take a deep breath in, not yet, but when I, you'll know when to do it, but when you breathe out, your eyes will close, okay? So fill up your lungs now, and let them out, allowing your eyes to close and relax. Notice all the tension now, just leaving your body. That's, it's as if the bottoms of your feet are like faucets. And imagine the faucets turning. And all the tension is just flowing out of your body through the feet. All anxiety, all tension, all stress and anxiety is just being drained out of your feet through the faucets. Picture and imagine that as you melt down deeper and deeper and deeper down. And just close the faucets and make the faucets just disappear now. Very good. We're going to relax you even deeper now. We're going to take three deep breaths with each breath and each number. In each word I say, you will go down deeper into a profound state of hypnotic trance. One, breathing in and breathing out. Two, breathing in and breathing out. Deeper and deeper now. Three, in, all the way and out. You'll notice that your breathing has become freer and easier. And it's slowed down to a nice comfortable rate as your heartbeat has as well. And you just feel so, so relaxed. Now with the power of your mind and creativity as we're in your subconscious mind now. We're going to do some envisioning. I want you now to imagine that you're standing in front of a house. This is an unusual house. It's 12 feet high, 12 feet wide, 36 feet long. There are three rooms, one behind the other. And this structure stands over a basement. There are three steps that lead to the house. I want you to walk up and open the front door. As you do, you step into the first room. It's a very unusual room because there is only one piece of furniture, a reclining chair. The carpeting, the walls, the ceiling, and the upholstery on the chair 
are all a beautiful, sunny yellow. This is the yellow room. The chair looks so inviting that you walk over to it, sit down in it, and push it back into a reclining position. You feel so relaxed, and as you do, you let your mind drift to a pleasant experience of the past 30 days. A pleasant experience of the past 30 days. And now that memory causes you to feel even more relaxed. But it's time to get up from the chair and move on to the second doorway and step inside. This room is almost identical to the first, except the color is gold. This is the gold room, and there is that reclining chair in the center of the room. Since your experience was so good the first time, you walk to that reclining chair again, sit down in it, and now you just lean back. As you do, you bring into your mind the memory of a very pleasant experience of the past 12 months, the past year. All right, it's time to get up from that chair and you move into the third room. This is the blue room. It's exactly like the first two except for the color. You walk to the chair, you sit down in it, and you lean back. But as you lean back, there is something very interesting occurring. What's occurring is that the chair is now a hydraulic hoist, and it begins to slowly move down. It's going down into that lower level, passing right down through the floor. You're going right down deeper, sitting in a very relaxed, comfortable position. Now it stops, and you're down into the basement. Now, as you stand up from the chair, there's one door ahead with a sign that says, The Room of Nothingness. You walk to the door, turn the knob, and step inside. As you do, your eyes narrow down, and you hesitate because it's very dim. And this room, and the door closes behind you. There's a strange feeling beneath your feet because you're standing on a foam rubber pad, which is three inches thick. Now the door is closed, and your eyes slowly become accustomed to the gloom. There is a kind of rosy glow in the room. You take a few more steps in, and you decide to just sit down. Now you sit down, and you feel the soft foam three inches thick cradling you so comfortably that you just decide to lay back. Now all the light is gone, and the room is filled with nothingness. As you like there, lay there, that nothingness moves across your mind, and your mind is filled with nothingness. And right now, just let that nothingness stay in your head. Your mind is now clear of any stress. When I get to five, your eyes will open, feeling revived, refreshed, and happy. One, two, three, starting to stretch. That's it. Four, smiling, feeling happy. Five, eyes open, wide awake, with a much clearer mind. Thank you. God bless.